Hello everybody, welcome back to No Man's Land. Now, I did have a whole episode recorded. However, for some unbeknownst reason to me, uh, that whole episode that I recorded actually corrupted. Or the files corrupted. So I've lost quite a lot of footage. Uh, but we are continuing on uh, in where the last episode left off. So, essentially, this is just going to be a carry-on. So, what's happened since then in all the corrupted files is we have bought this new plot of land. So, now I own plot 48 and I've cut out a massive field in here. So, this is CP6 now, which we're bailing in right now. Uh, we've obviously cut wind road and bailed or going to be bailing all of this for silage um, I've cut that little bit of grass over there to feed the sheep so the sheep are happy I sold all of the soybeans for a good harvest profit and I sold a whole bunch of wooden planks that come out of the sawmill so that's where the uh, extra money has come from so in this episode we are going to finish bailing this um, I don't think I'm going to be stacking it uh, we'll finish bailing it and then we'll go and have a rest and we will go on to harvesting our canola which is almost ready to go. You can see the yellow in the background there, it's all flowered. It's nearly ready to go. So we will get on to bailing the rest of this field and then we'll continue on where we were meant to be left, left off but yeah, as mentioned my uh, files corrupted which is not fun. But yeah it is what it is, we'll have to work with it. But for now, let's continue on. Okay guys, so we're just about done bailing up this whole field. Um, you can't see much. There's, uh, obviously it's dark and there's, there is quite a lot of bales in here. So what we're going to do is drop that last bale off. And we'll take our bale up back to the yard. So with this new relight mod, that I have on you can definitely tell the difference in lighting especially when it's dark I mean I can't see anywhere where I'm going right now I'm just relying on the map essentially so we'll drop the baler off and then we'll go and have a rest and I'm hoping that this rain goes away 
for the morning because we have harvest to get onto with this um, canola. So I really hope the rain goes away so we can harvest it and not have to worry about um, yield losses. So we will park this just around the corner here next to the farmhouse. There we go, that's fine. And we will go and rest. Okay, good morning everyone. The canola is ready to harvest. So is that field over there. We are good to go. Our corn's definitely growing. It's um, quite tall now. So we'll jump in the header, hook on the front, and we will get to harvesting the canola. Okay, so we just finished loading up the last of the canola out of the field bin uh, into the truck. So we'll go and drop this off at the silos for storage. I'm pretty sure. Um, I'll just check real quick. The canola price is best in November. So yeah, got a few months before we'll go ahead and sell this. So we'll go and store it in the in the silos for now. And then I'll probably go and stack all the bales that we, all the silage bales, and put them in the shed so then we know exactly how many we've got as well. So we'll tip this off, grab a tractor, and go and stack all the bales into the shed. Okay, so we've hooked up the bale trailer. Uh, I thought I'd use the 8RX. I haven't used it very much since I um since I bought it. So we'll go and stack all these bales, chuck them in the shed, so they're out of the rain. I know they're wrapped, but to keep them in safe storage. So then, this field over here, the very very big one, is ready for preparation.
Okay, so all the bales are now loaded out of the field, stacked into the shed. Um, we'll just run over and have a look at how many we got. You see, it's barely made a dent in the size of the shed. It's um, quite big. So we have silage bales. We have 117 silage bales, which is yeah, quite a lot. Um, I do need to pull a couple of bales out for the sheep. So we will grab this and take it over to the sheep. I also need to take the wool over to the spinnery to keep that going. Um, clothes are quite a large portion of income. So we'll drop them off. They've actually got no feed at the moment. so. I'm having trouble feeding the sheep. I keep on forgetting to to uh, to feed them. Um, you can see with the baling and all that, I've installed a new net wrap mod. So balers are actually require net wrap. Um, you can change the colours and stuff. I've just got the black and white because um, I think it looks good. You can get all types of colours though. To uh, I guess if you wanted to mark what crops were what. So we can put this over here, and then. Wow, that's a lot of wool. We can move all the wool over to the spinnery and keep it going. Okay, so last lot of wool going to the spinnery. You can see he has over 9,000 litres of wool. So we're going to move the gator with the, the box of net wrap on the back back to the field. I know there's some grass left over here, but I'm not too worried about that. Uh, with this big field, CP6, I think I might leave it and try and get another cut of grass off because at the moment I can't plant anything unless it was canola wheat or barley and I want to plant something else in here I'm not sure what yet I might do oats or something so we're just gonna leave it and try and get another cut of grass off it because silage is um, yeah quite a good money maker especially when you have that many bales come off the field so we'll take the gator back to the farm trying not to tip the net wrap off so the corn is growing good and um, that should be ready to harvest relatively soon in a couple of months or so uh, we still got quite a few big purchases to make in terms of silos and the corn dryer and things and the butane to go with it so we will drop the gator here i'm not crashing into the shed so i'll have a quick look at the corn yeah so it's growing very very good so expected yield is pretty good um, the corn is almost ready to harvest, so in October. Uh, we've got heaps of canola stored in the silos. Everything's looking pretty good. We are still in quite a lot of debt, but I'm sure that'll, um, that'll sort itself out as the months go past and we start getting some good income from the likes of the silage bales, the corn and the canola when it's time to sell. So in the next episode... Uh, we'll continue on the crop rotations, we'll prepare this field, I will need to spread some more lime and fertiliser on these two little fields, they're starting to drop a little bit in yield expectations. So we'll do that, um, it's likely we'll probably take another cut of grass off of CP6, we'll uh, definitely bale a bit more grass for that field to keep the sheep happy instead of silage. I seem to be going through a lot of food with the sheep. Um, the spinnery is all happy. We'll need to cut down some more trees as well to keep the sawmill running. I believe it's run out of wood at the moment, so we need to do a bit more logging. And of course, we need to check out our furniture factory over on the far side to make sure it's all going good. So yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button and consider subscribing. Until next time, bye for now.